What? We're going to Chicago? We usually don't pick up hitchhikers. But I'm gonna go with my instinct on this one. Saddle up, partner. Hello to all my sports card collector, investor, all my collectibles friends. I hope that everybody is doing okay. I actually got my second COVID vaccine this morning. So I'm feeling okay, but I'm starting to feel a little bit drowsy, to be honest. Starting to be a little bit more low energy. My, my arm is starting to hurt a little bit. I've heard that sometimes it takes 24 hours for it to kick in. I've already primed my wife for it to be a very low-key weekend, meaning I am not going to be doing a whole lot of anything around the house because I've got to take it easy and be well. So I am going to recover, guys. Hopefully everything is good. Hopefully I don't get hit with some of the chills and the fever and all the rest of it that comes with this thing. So fingers crossed. Hopefully we are good to go. I have received news, and part of the reason why I'm putting this out tonight is because I don't think I'm going to make a video tomorrow. I'm just going to like lay low and take it easy. We might very well be having a national. Signs are pointing towards it happening. Why is that? Well, the state of Illinois, including Chicago, obviously, has moved to the bridge phase of the comeback plan. So essentially, this is the phase that comes right before phase five that allows for everything to open back up. So it's exciting. Guys, if you are new here, please hit that subscribe button, karate chop the notification bell, 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 the notification bell. Hit the like button. Let's get some likes cooking. Just keep on hitting it. But make sure you don't hit it too many times where you accidentally click it off. You, you know what I'm saying? And before I actually really dig into this, I have to say thank you to this video is sponsored by Otis, a place where you can buy shares of rare collectibles. All right, guys, we are looking at the 2003 Topps Chrome Refractor number 111. I do have six shares of this card. Uh, this is the, the refractor version of the Topps Chrome in a PSA 10. And this is pretty cool how the app will kind of go down, give you a little bit of a history about this particular card. It goes into, you know, some, some of the background, gives you population numbers, 171 on the population report. Drop value at seventy three thousand five hundred. It IPO'd at ten dollars per share. Currently being offered at nineteen dollars per share. So I like the fact that for a card that I am not going to be able to afford, I can at least kind of get in and have have a little bit of of some of the action. So they also have a copy of the Joe Montana rookie card in a PSA ten. This one's currently being offered at eighteen dollars and fifty cents per share. And again, you can go to the learn section. I actually have a copy of this card in a PSA eight, but as you probably guessed, the PSA ten just being far more rare. There are 109 on the population report. It is a hefty price tag for one of these. So again, $18.50 a share is the price to get in on the, on the Otis site. And if you do sign up um, through the link listed in the video description and in the comments, you are eligible for a, for a free share. If you sign up using that link, there are terms that apply. And so if you want to check out Otis's offerings, feel free to go through that link. Okay, guys, and if we move to phase five, which essentially is after 28 days of monitoring, according to the article, uh, well, it's an article that's on the national website, they're going to monitor the, this thing for 28 days starting, I guess, now. June 11th is when they'll kind of make a call on it. I suppose, you know, they're going to check and see what happens between, obviously, like June 11th and the end of July when the show is actually going to happen. I, I assume that they're going to want to see that things kind of stay stable. If things get really bad again, then maybe... Maybe they, they cancel. Who knows? I'm sure it's probably a moving target. But as it sits right now, it's a good sign that they're moving to this bridge phase, which, you know, as long as everything kind of maintains, there's not elevated levels of, of COVID activity um, in the state of Illinois, they're going to keep moving towards that phase five. And there are no restrictions once they get to phase five. I believe in that bridge phase, let's just say that that had gotten extended out. I read something about to where events would be limited to a thousand people, which wouldn't make sense for the national if it stayed in that bridge phase heading into the end of July. 
hopefully we're, we're all good to go there. But essentially, that's what they're going to do. They're going to monitor this thing up through June and then make a call on it. But all signs, and including the, the national website, is very optimistic about it happening. They feel very optimistic about it. So, guys, this might actually be happening. We've already got our hotel room. Me and my wife are planning to be there. Uh, it's going to be a good time, obviously. I think there's all the kind of the pent up, you know, the, the pent up want to go to this to this show. The thing that I'm watching, though, is, is the thing that's interesting is if this show had happened last year, there'd probably be like a million people there. It probably would have broke every single record imaginable. But we are now in kind of an odd little time. It's an odd little time where the market is kind of, you know, corrected, so to speak, whatever verbiage you want to use. And people will jump all over me. No, there's still all these great, you know, there's still all these things happening. I don't care how you look at it. The card market has, has, the pricing has come down across the board. Are there certain cards that are going up and, and whatever? Yeah, you know, there are. But for the most part, if we're looking at, you know, across the board, it has either remained flat or, it, or prices have come down to some degree, which I don't really think is a bad thing. It's giving me opportunities to buy cards that I have not had access to over the last year. I think it's it's like what we talk about. If you believe in a market, you know, in a down market, you're buying. You know, if real estate drops down, it's very low, and you believe in real estate long term or, or short to flip it, then you're buying into real estate, and, it, and it's all kind of, it's the same sort of deal. Um, people will say, ah, that's a traditional investment, and this is an alternative investment. This is baseball cards or whatever. That's fine. We don't have to agree on it, but it's just the reality of buying and selling stuff, whatever that is. We're, we're always trying to buy low and sell it at a higher price. That's kind of how the whole thing works. And there is, of course, the fun collector element to this that makes this more fun than maybe a real estate transaction. But real estate transactions have their own fun. So anyway, I'm getting off topic. The point is, is that I hope to see you all at the national. I hope that more people can make it. Of course, I want to see all my, my content friends, but to be honest, I'm going to see a lot of them here next week in Dallas, uh, which I'm excited about too. Dallas will be the first really big show that I've been to. There are shows here in the North Carolina area that are fairly decent size uh, that, that are put on, uh, but this Dallas show will, will certainly be the biggest one that I've been to since the old mall shows in the Panama City Mall back in the late 80s. Guys, if you want to see card shows, the the funny thing is, is literally like every three to four weeks in, in Panama City, Florida, and this was all across the country in the late 80s, early 90s, there was massive card shows in the mall, in the shopping mall, the regular shopping mall that really doesn't exist anymore. Uh, but that they, they were huge shows. The entire mall, there was just tables and tables and tables set up. And so that's what I'm, that's kind of what I remember with card shows. So I went, you know, I've, I've gone to some of the, these, these, you know, fairly decent sized shows here locally. And it's like, okay, you know, it's a decent size, but all I have, the only reference point I have is what I was going to when I was 10 years old. So um, I'm excited to go to this Dallas show, see friends that I've only met digitally, never met in person, and then also meet a uh, viewership as well that will be out there and also do some kind of, you know, just see how the the market looks in person negotiating face to face as opposed to just kind of doing it on eBay, which we all do the majority of the time or on ComC or Starstock. So I'm excited about it. Guys, are you going to the national? What are your thoughts on all this? Do you think that there's a chance it could still not happen? Do you think it's going to, you know, like the, the numbers could get bad again? Or do you think that we are good to go and we are making breakthroughs? Let me know in the comments. And if you haven't subscribed yet, like I said, guys, this is a good time. This is all the collectibles, personal finance stuff, uh, goofy Jim Carrey clips all mixed into one. You can't really beat it. Maybe you can. All right. Maybe you can. But anyway, thank you again for watching and I will see you again next time.